This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So let's go through and kick the chapter off by, first of all, valuing our equity. Now, these first few pages of the notes, there's nothing new uh, that you haven't seen before in F1 that we went through oh, ages ago now, didn't we, as part of our weighted average cost of capital calculations. Uh, so let's just go through and play around with valuing our equity. And in the first scenario, uh, we are looking there whereby there are constant dividends. So if there are constant dividends, then the growth in our dividends is zero. Okay. And um, what we're using when we're looking at valuing our equity to work out the value of a share, we're going to use the dividend valuation model. So things that are important are your dividend to date, is that the D0, uh, and also the rate of return that the shareholders require the cost of equity. Okay. Uh, Excellent. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to look at the dividend stream as a perpetuity going from time period one to infinity. OK, uh, if you want the theory, uh, go way back to the F1 lectures uh, and there you have it. Let's just crunch the numbers. OK, we'll talk about the theory as we go along. So it wants us to work out, the calculate the current market value per share. Uh, so here. That wants us to work out P0, doesn't it? Uh, it goes through there and says, doesn't it? Alpha PLC has an issue $1 shirt and has just paid. So if you have just paid, remember, that is looking at your price. Active. So in the first few examples, we're going to look at our active valuation. Uh, and we are told uh, that we have just paid a dividend of 20 cents per share. So that there is our dividend D0, which will be D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6. Why? Because as this part of the section says, dividends are expected to remain constant. So if that's the case, G equals zero. And the required rate of return is the, is it at 10%, isn't it? Okay. So to work out your price X div, we just do D0 divided by KE, don't we? Uh, so here D0 is 20 cents. And the return is the, as 10%. So putting it in there as a decimal, 0.10. Tapping that into your calculator should work out, is it at $2? That is the X div price, isn't it? Okay. Happy with that one? Hope you are. Okay. If that's the case, have a go at example number two. Okay. Should be pretty straightforward. Okay. So, did you go through? Uh, stop the video. Uh, and work the example. I hope you did. Okay. If I give you the chance to, to try and go through there and work things out, do it makes your life easier. Uh, you should hopefully get the value there. Is it as one dollar twenty five? Okay. Uh, and that has come from there. Is it your fifteen cents per share? The return is zero point one two. So that works out at one dollar and 25 cents again dividends are expected to remain constant so if that's the case g is equal to zero isn't it okay and again as we have just paid a dividend then the price that we are working out there is our price x div okay happy with that sure yeah it's just Working things in a different manner, isn't it? In F1, we had to work out the cost of equity using the price, the dividend and the growth rate. Now we're just rearranging it to work out the price. OK, yeah, that, that's all you are doing. Working in reverse. OK, however, what you will recall from the days of F1, uh, there was that difference, wasn't there, between the cum div and the X div. 
Uh, so the come div incorporates the value of the dividend about to be paid. So it has not yet been paid. Once it is paid, the come div price will fall down to the X div price, doesn't it? Which gave us that formula that your come div is equal to the X div plus the dividend about to be paid. Okay. Uh, so what have we got there? Uh, if we put that in as an example, it says calculate the come div market value per share and X div market value per share. Again, dividends are expected to remain constant. So again, growth is equal to zero. Okay. Uh, it says beta PLC has in issue 50 cent shares is about to pay a dividend of 15 cents. So therefore we are looking at the cum div price uh, of 15 cents. So that is D0, isn't it? Okay, so to work out the X div, you need to take the dividend to date, which is there as 0.15, and divide it by the return, which is the 0.12. Okay, so it's the same scenario as the previous example. So the X div value is $1.25, isn't it? Okay, because we have there, don't we? Okay, the only thing that's changed in the example is this bit there okay we are about to pay a dividend okay so to work out the cum div all we need to go through and do that is take the x div of one dollar twenty five and add on the dividend that is about to be paid which gives me there is it one dollar and forty cents okay excellent uh there we go Go. Okay. Uh, just be aware, I think there is a formula that you could go through and use uh, to work out the cum div price. So P0 cum div, and you don't need to work it out. It's D0 multiplied by 1 plus K divided by KE minus G. Okay. Whereby here the dividend was 0.15 uh, ke is 0.12 and we divide it by 0.12 less zero because the growth is there as zero isn't it and if you tap that into your calculator hopefully you're all adept at using your calculator by now is there is one dollar forty, which memory serves me right, is the same figure as what we had there. Okay, uh, you could, if you want, work out that formula. Don't. Okay, that would just be ludicrous. Okay, there we go. Uh, so that's it in terms of looking at your value of your equity with no growth and constant dividends. Uh, we'll look in the next video at how we go through that and value equity whereby we have a constant growth in your dividends.